Okay, those... Sometimes you just get attached to a hero. Maybe they were experimenting. Dire team okay, pick. we got Naga Siren, so... Mm. I've never... I don't know. Naga with Death Prophet seems like a weird little mix always. Because with Naga Siren, it's... you need four heroes to create space for one, and Death Prophet's kind of squishy and why is like the hero you need pr to protect generally. Why don't... Why wouldn't you go for Void here over Tree and then get something else as a support? I... Yeah. I don't know, Aldi. I feel like the Void can offer you a lot what the Death Prophet remaining. does, or sorry, what the Naga does, right? Like, teamfight control, some late game potential. Five doesn't really remaining. rat the same way, but you already have Death Prophet and Jakiro who pushes well, and he, he just synergizes so well with their lineup. Skyrat, yeah. Jakiro, would have been perfect. Uh, Death Prophet goes really well with the Void if you get off a good Chrono. It's great versus Kraken Shell, you can't Kraken it off, and... You got a BKB, Disruptor, and A are just food against you, so I'm a little surprised they didn't snap up the Void there. But, no, we'll see. Hellraiser's obviously have something yeah. in mind with this. It's still, like, I look at this secret draft and think, like, this is actually a pretty good game to be a Naga. It's just still, like, yeah. you're, you're going to have this weak mid-game where Death Prophet can't really fight because Naga's... You're, you're fighting 4v5 in some ways, but there's no good heroes to back up the Death Prophet in. Well, Naga just isn't, like, a space creator, really. Right? Yeah. I guess yeah. you could go for the Merit... Like, the... Once in a while, we'll see Miracle do heal a drums build. Yes. But he, I think he even said in his Reddit, ask me anything, like nine times out of ten, you should just rush Radiance after a kill. Yeah. He likes the drums when he's farming really well. Like, he, it's, it's funny, like, he's, he's, he's farming really, really fast. Instead of getting a super fast Radiance, he's like, I'm going to get drums and go and fight. And still a fast. Radiance, and, yeah. yeah, and just help my team own even harder. Terra Blade last pick, though. It's going to be split push versus split push in some ways. Does put Raze in the mid lane for S4. Not really a, a big problem there, and. We'll see Terrorblade in action. Hmm. Terrorblade this game. They don't have too much lockdown for him. Yeah. That's a bit of a concern. Ten like seconds a, remaining. Jikiro, they like have the ice path, path. path. silence. Yeah. At some point I'll get a Manta, so the Death Prophet silence won't be good forever. It's a decent Terrorblade game. Yep. Uh, Skyrath so. Mage is really good against him if he's Prepare able to find some battle. openings, but... The thing with Secret is they're just so good at protecting their one position generally. And right. they just invest a lot of resources in it. But I don't, I don't know if they'll be able to do that as much this game, running that Razor. We'll have to see what his matchup is here in the top lane. Up against the Jakiro tree, that's going to be really annoying for whoever lanes there. Yeah, that's... What a disgusting lane that Yuck. Is. And it's the, <laughs> the Jewel Ring of Protection, it's, it's the new thing. It's so gross. It's Eight armor on Jakiro, dude! 625 yeah. It. I mean, you think of like all the early harass, so much of it is right clicks from supports and oh, he's about to Oh, be. well. Okay, no. <laughs> he's killing you! He's AFK. He was AFK for like half a second, he's like, oh, crap. I'm dead. Leap seat? Oh, that's easy here. That eight armor almost... Oh, save man. No. That. Well, yeah. flames over, folks. If he was actually, like, focused there, he was probably looking somewhere else on the screen, or... Or he may have alt-tabbed for like a split second just to yeah. check the Skype setting. He didn't, know, but... he didn't back off right away. Whatever it was, it was no boy. No excuse. No boy. Day. Like, that's... And the first blood That's went for the Razor. So mid lane just got ex exceedingly hard for your Death Prophet. Yep. As for Taxes Puppy, a couple of Tangos, and yeah. This lane is just going to be so rough. No boots on Death Prophet. The Generally does all right against Razor. Oh, Dread also Dread. AFK. Dread. Are these What's going on here? Luckily, he really wanted that rune. And... Metamorph wears off is the good news. Oh my god, though. Can you imagine if they give up two Whew. kills there? If that's a haste rune, it's, goodbye. He, he knew that the metamorphosis would end at exactly that Double moment. That's the Double. only reason he went for that play. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was all calculated. Yeah. <laughs> Not just calculated because he wanted to go back and take a tour of his own, his own base. <laughs> and then uh, make his way back up top. He's gonna do the walk of shame. All the way back to base and all the way back to lane. Unless he That's sells his bread. It's almost worse than just dying. Yeah, there was nothing to suicide to is the problem. Because yeah. the neutrals hadn't spawned yet. Yeah. It's such an unusual situation. Yeah. Not dead before the creep spawn, but need to suicide to something. Always can make that long journey to the rush pit, but... At that point it's faster to walk back to base. All right. Well, we haven't actually introduced our teams, I guess. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I'll I'll do Hellraisers. You've got Gorak on your Jakiro off lane. Now, an inauspicious start for him. Dread will be playing that support Triant, trotting towards top. Mid goes the blighted Affa Ninja, who's gonna have his work cut out for him here. And the bottom lane should be their easiest lane. Arts on the Naga with great backup here. And goddamn, on your Skyrath Mage. On the die side, oh, top lane, bit of an engagement coming out, Gorik in trouble, and that's a second kill going the way of Team Secret. They're trying to get the counter kill on Kuro, but I don't 
think that's happening. Puppy taking the right clicks here. One more would be needed. And he just so hard. He's going to bring them all Where to the like, no at? Where the boots at, Dread? Oh, oh got him! Too close! He almost has mono. No, he's actually short of mono for at least. Oh. Hiroki forced to actually skill reflection, which isn't bad by any means, but yeah. generally you don't see players do this. Bottom lane, Simba caught out a bit. They're out of. No, they've got a little bit more mana on God. I'm not enough, though. And he went for that uh, somewhat surprising snare point, although we are seeing it every now and then from Nagas nowadays, where you. It, 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 it became the build where you'd never get in snare, so when it happened, it'd be like, oh, you get a kill and it catches someone by surprise. So it is becoming a bit more common to do this. Yeah, it's. It's more common in dual or tri lanes, but yep. still not that common even then. Oh, I'll quickly introduce the diet team. Didn't finish that. Kuro gonna be playing the safe lane farming terrible Puppy on the ancient apparition. No tail playing the disruptor. Mid lane will be S4 on the raisin. Fight on the offline will be Simba or Fly playing the tide hunter. All right, that was quick and simple. So, well, mid lane actually going surprisingly well for Appaninja, considering that S4 got fed first blood, and yeah, he's he's down a bit on levels, but not by too much. S4 sitting at 85, not 95, the death profit at 94, so I think all things Ooh. considered, F Ninja doing really well here, considering how the game began. Safe lane trialing kind of messes up again. Curry even pops a metamorph thinking they'd got like a, a glimpse off or they were going to get a glimpse off with the, the cold feet, so. Only level one glimpse. It's pretty. Yeah. It's it's so ridiculous when it's max, but at level one, it's pretty damn bad. Against like the solo offlane is spamming the metamorph. I think is okay, but against like a three v two lane, you want to hold the metamorph for like when there's an actual fight because they're gonna contest the lane with a dual lane. If you're against a just suicide solo type hero, you don't need to contest. Look it. at that harass damage. Dread on the yeah. fucking going. They can almost beat this try lane two v three. Imagine if they hadn't given up first blood. Yeah. This is how strong they are, but now they're in trouble. Chilling Touch coming through, Gorak dropping low, your tree also going to drop low. That double ring saving lives. I just, this lane could have been so magnificent for them if they hadn't given up those kills, and, and also the tree having to go back to base early. But, them's the breaks. They're still holding up okay-ish. Mm. They're not really slowing down the Terrorblades farm, but they are, it is a 2v3, so they are converting a lot of secrets here. Bottom lane, we're going to have a go on Simba. So one more Arcane Bolt, and yeah, that's a kill on Simba. Nicely nice played. Take down. He is getting his levels, though. Already level 4, nearly. Not too yeah. shabby. The thing with Simba is that Dyer's bottom tower is under he doesn't attack. normally dominate his lane that hard, but he's just so good at catching up in the mid game. And part of it's that Secrets invest a lot in stacking for him when he's on these heroes like Tide and you know, when he's on like a timber saw, he's just given a lot of space to farm on the map. But I think his just decision making on when to rotate is really good and it's probably his biggest strength as an off laner. He's not really like the the lane dominator. Type. They will just like yeah. crush, crush a one v three or something. Oh, just straight up diving this tower. Oh, Red considers and then the TP. Point of reflection. If he gets the range, that... glimpse back under the tower of oh all places, God. and here comes the razor. Comes. This is gonna be two, I think. That hits the razor. <laughs> He's so the dead. body block. What yeah. a body block by for. He's, He's just teasing now. He's like, I'm not even gonna attack you. All right. Okay. Yeah, he can go back mid, still have this, but Death Prophet, Death Prophet, if she gets hit like once or twice while he takes it, I think she's dead too. He's gonna have it for like one or two auto attacks maybe, yeah, but Death no, back off. Death off anyways, yeah. yeah. Safe, Saf and Ninja, he's CSing well, but Death Prophet attack. against Braze is pretty even, even matchup, or slightly even like farm favored towards the Death Prophet, I'd say, but it's pretty even. With the first blood, it should be at least even. Yeah, S4 did spend more time off the lane, so now F Ninja does full head a bit. Yeah, that's probably one of the better heroes against Brazer, because she doesn't really need her attack damage, because she's got such a good spam on nuke, and she can also sit pretty far back. But when he has the boots advantage of level 1, it makes it a bit tricky. Oh, more kills coming from the first up minimal once more, and that's a dead Gorek. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, make it two. Red gets caught by the glimpse here. Big dagging no tail, pulls him back, and... Should be another kill, and Kuro gets a go. What's, what's this guy doing? I don't know, I... This is the feed train, man. It's, it's left the station. That one there was like, okay, they're out of position, yeah. wasn't a good play out, but that play before from Dread, where he just YOLO ran by the, the tower, like, a bit of a drive-by, that was really questionable. Oh, what, what day of the week is it? It's Wednesday. Hump day. They just got off work, you know, they attack. gotta get over the hump as they get towards the weekend, and loosen up a little bit, relax, unwind. Die a few extra times to get the feeling right. I mean, I, it just goes back to that level one play. I feel like that something like that happens, and you might not even be angry, but you're, you just 
subconscious, you're just like, well, we fucked this game up. Yeah. Especially you when can't... you're feeding, like, a Terror Blade Trilin, of all things. Those are two definitely very emotional games. Thank you. And even if you're cold and calculated, like, logically it's like, well, we just fed a first blood to a Razor, who's now gonna have a much better time as 1v1, and Terror Blade, and the supports get some experience. Like, gonna be a hard game. Yep. Oh. Well, Simba's gonna make things harder. He's gonna start stacking up some ancients to get his farm kind of accelerated and just get him towards that level six. And for uh, Team Secret, I think they'll be pretty pleased with how things are going now. Mid lane Alpha Ninja's getting harassed pretty hard. Uh, at least now that he seems to have lost some of the rune control that he'd prefer to have. So uh, for Hellraisers, I this dual lane is just completely failed. Like the, the Jakiro who's meant to be farming. Doesn't even have boots? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't even know who's meant to be farming. The Trino or the Chikiro, it's, it's still up in the air. Naga seems to be the one kind of hope for Hellraisers this game. I guess Death Prophet CSing and doing okay in the mid lane, but you're not going to win the game with this Death Prophet. You're going to win the game, it's going to come from the Naga Siren. So they've got to just get to that Radiance and I guess hope for the best. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. And we'll see S4 just getting aggressive here. He's been getting some nice for a double damage here now. We saw the haste turn earlier. Like, the ideal runs. He could, if he gets one hit on Afa Ninja, he can run him down with a plasma field. But he won't get that one hit. Yeah. So Naga farming really well. I I, I don't see why you wouldn't just rush the radio. Me too. This, this, Naga, this is all in Naga Siren with the bad start. Death Prophet. I, we're not going to see Death Radiance Prophet really be able to siege towers just because Jakiro and Trian are so far behind and they're so itemless. Without like the Yules or a mech or something from the Jakiro, there's just no no contribution. These these are essentially you've got three support Radiant heroes on the Radiant side. You can't keep a Death Prophet alive with just three kind of support heroes who just sit back and throw spells Radiant's and super squishy. There's too much damage that Death Prophet just can't tank. Death Prophet TP's top and well, we'll stop the push, but Kuro's like, well, I'm already farming well, I can just go back to the neutrals and. This will be just fine. Yeah, it's a very fat terribly. The one thing that Secret isn't really doing though is giving the lane to a support. And I, I it's something you see Cloud9 do a lot of, and I guess their concern Radiant's here is just how aggressive the attack. HR are playing. Their supports are still really high level though. Like, from getting, the kills. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting fed all these unnecessary kills and that's all they need. The kinetic field staff are uh flipped. Or just get annihilated, but might come at the cost of Kuro has no mono left. He could go down here. Oh, one more nuke, that should be enough to get it! He bought his Yasha. Still a lot of experience there. Yes, and they end the streak there too. And of course they kill off the terrible top of it all. Dread will dive in a bit deeper, but your Razor is going to come in. Clean up one, look for another. Dread, quick TP out. Will he get there in time? Glimpse. Still cooling down. Still cooling down. Yeah. Dread and Skyrath just tried to split up so they, like, one of them would live, one would die. Well, Dread was like, kill me, but they went to the sky. instead. Take me now. Jakiro has boots. We can um, celebrate, top I guess. Tower under Ooh. Top tower Farming has offlane Jakiro in the yeah, tree. Yeah. yeah. This is about the worst team. 0 oh and 5 by CS. Yeah, 0 yeah, oh and 5. 5 and 5, dude. He's 5 and 5 record. Uh, maybe 5 and 6. Alright. go with that. I think he's just on tilt at this point. Oh, for sure. For sure. You're like, it's. It's a mix of like on tilt and when you're behind, like especially if you're like your role in the team is to play like a core hero, like an off laner. But at this point, he needs to treat himself like a support. Like he needs to stay hidden, not re reveal himself much. He can't treat his role as a core anymore, and that's something which it's, it's just hard very, to change it's that very mindset. Very difficult psychologically yeah. and just frustrating. So yeah. you think you can just go back to the lane? You're like, okay, I got to catch up. Let's play a bit greedy, and as a result, you just end up in an even worse position. And then each time that you die, it gets easier and easier <laughs> to kill you. <laughs> Uh, it's a reverse snowball. Maybe. He's bo actually bottom of the net worth. This is their three position player. <laughs> and he's the and least playing the ten roll. Hero in the game. Yeah. The ten roll. That's right. Well, Seeker gonna be stacking up some ancients here for Simba. Let's see what he's gonna go for. Razor can be your mech builder if you want, but so far S4 not spending his gold, so I imagine we'll see the blink from the tide. He's their main initiator here. And yeah. Probably just your straight mech for S4. Yeah, mech or drums, but yeah, either or is fine. Looks like S4 is going to go drums. This is like the Achizi likes the Treads drums build, and S4 seems to as well. Maybe they the mech. Yeah, I think it's like a post blink item for tide if they still want it. 
It was a pretty good mech game. A lot of AoE from HR, not much single target. Actually, Disruptor, I think, is going in. He's got the ring of Goddamn, God damn, fall down here and might end up going down in the bottom lane. And if they get that no one gosh. extra nuke, they have a ravage. No gush. Can't quite get a range. I tied so hard. I tied so hard and got so far. But in the end. Yeah. Oh, top lane. Is this a Jakira feed? It, is under attack. it should yeah, be. He has a CP scroll. You can't cancel that. Something. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, you're right. You can't cancel. Oof. That last Still attack on. almost Dyer's hit. Yeah. But oh, Jesus. If he went for it right away, I guess he could have TP'd sooner. Yikes. Hero. He's got 15 CS suddenly. I don't know. That's that's. Naga, 2300 gold, so the route to Relic is slowly being paved. Yeah, it's decent timing. My main difference is that there's the tier 1 down top lane. Nice boss goes flying all the way top lane. That's on your, your death property. He's gone attack. for a drums build. So I think recognizing the fact that, yeah, we need just more stats and survivability from you. Like, the Yules is nice and all, but. Stopping up at whatever cheap cost effective items you can get this game is. Yeah, yeah you yield yourself and are like, oh great, now we can just drop a static from static kill and copy your ass and then you're dead anyway. Ah, uh, F Ninja will get clips back to safety. He says, I think thank you. Dead there. Yeah, he did. He did the double damage on S4. He was very dead. Maybe you didn't notice it. Razor's one of those tricky heroes where the DD rune isn't that noticeable. Yes. He's already a big blue glowy guy now. He's slightly more electric blue glowy guy. DD on blue here is OP, basically. Claire was dropped, forcing a hero back out of the radius jungle, and that's better. Yeah. Okay, it's your song. Group of cabbage ready, so they need to get the hell out of here. But with song down, no overgrowth yet. Exorcism is ready, but I think Afa Ninja is just too squishy to use it and, and stay alive. We may see yeah. Secret try to force the issue. You you try going here, and if, if he gets hit by a ravage, he's just instantly dead. If, and if he's exorcisming, I imagine Kyle will be happy to ravage and set up an ice blast to just raise a static link and all the goods that go with that. Yeah, exactly. Secret, just continue to farm that timeout symbol. I mean, he just like basically disappears the ancients. The funny thing is, they've even got this ward here, so they know it's happening, but. It's just like so difficult <laughs> to shut this down, especially with their draft. They don't really have a great hero to punish it. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's just. Uh oh. Well, oh, yeah. I think they're just kind of. I don't know. They're not on their A game right now. Compass. So much, like you say, go, goes back to the start. We were talking this team up as a team who causes upsets and has some big games, but they're not showing it here just yet. Now, just to be clear, I did not say bet on Compass or HR. I just said don't bet on Secret. Because <laughs> even if you win, it's, it's basically nothing anyway. Uh -huh. I don't want any angry betters, you know, coming after us, trying to look up where we were. I could have won Radiance middle tower half an arcana with my four arcanas. I don't want to like wake up in the middle of the night and some angry, angry Dota 2 lounge better is like outside tower my window rapping on it, you know, it's like say, like yelling at me, holding up angry signs, heckling us in our sleep. No mercy, please, Twitch chat. It's okay, we all lose our cat. Some of us more often than others. Yeah. Well, if you want, if you want the real, like the real rares betting advice from early in Dota, you got to subscribe to BTS. That's that's where the uh, the real rares. Oh yeah, we have, we've got a newsletter actually. If you already did. You'll never yeah. come unless you <laughs> Our subscribers are in on it. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, no, he's dead. Wink, nudge, nudge. One day. When we... Hmm. I wonder if Secret's gonna try to sneak a Roche at some point. We've seen Cloud9 do this extremely yeah. early. They're waiting for the DD rune. They need the DD Terrorblade rune, maybe. It is I, they can do it without, but it, it makes rune. life easy. So... I think if they find a DD rune, they can definitely go for it. Yeah. And I believe with Terrorblade, the way it works with the bonus damage from your metamorphosis, is it actually counts as base damage in the game. Yep. So, so you get the full benefit of the DD rune. You get a lot of bonus damage out of All that. All the deeps. The oh. double deeps rune. Secret of positioning themselves at top lane. Oh, so so dangerous. They have everything ready to go. Big Daddy's got his ulti. We got yeah. yeah, not the best glimpse. Oh, close. <laughs>
he, if, if he was like just a little bit farther down. I, he, he glimpsed the death proper who was like kind of standing still. The Skyros would have been a short kill. I guess he wanted the bigger Yeah, he, bigger wanted, target. The, he wanted the big one. Big Daddy don't settle for no, yeah. no noob support kills. Oh, big Daddy going to have to go em empty stomach today. <laughs> big Daddy? He's stuck. So, Terrorblade still lurking around. Gets There's the DD rune. He's, he's wasting it for Ancients. That's... Envy would be... Displeased. And he might die for this. They had that ward here. They the fire. They're gonna catch up for Ogi. Mystic Flares there. Punished. Heavily. That's yep. a nice kill. The same time though. Bill Seeker kind of come on. He's back on the tree. He's gonna promptly strut forward. He's aggressively diving for their tier one. He knows there aren't many other options here. Simba in position. I'll gush him. And he's done for. Another glimpse coming up in five seconds' time, so if they can keep vision, they could find another pickoff, but it doesn't look like they'll get it. Yeah, it looks like Big Daddy is uh, actually just going to go for a force staff, so... Good standard item pickup here. Someone gets ensnared, you want to be able to force them out. Same for that Jakiro combo. I mean, I say the Jakiro combo. Yule Scepter, probably going to be like 24, 25 minutes this game, it feels. Alright, where's this Naga at? Naga's the only hope for Radiant team, to be honest. Yeah. Relic, okay. Radiance and coming up. It, it's, this is still doable. Any game where there's Naga Siren, I just refuse to believe it's over. Although the pickoffs are just going to keep continuing. Big Daddy No Tails is fine. He kills left, right, and center with glimpses. Don't worry, you've got company from our viewers here. The, the snoozing is real whenever there's a Naga in the game. Alright. But Arts is playing it well. It's He's uh, solid. He hasn't. I, I don't mind a well played Naga game. Like some of those miracle games we watch, like it's just like watching. I, it's more it was, it was interesting because like you learn new tricks and techniques from like the the really top Naga players. So I'm just like this is. Next it's level. just a minute to return, right? You see 50 Naga games. You've probably seen like 99% of them. You've seen like five. There's probably a solid 10 to 30% still to go. Hey, it's gonna fly top. It's a race. Okay. They have Ravage, and they're gonna TP in. Glyph to the was just used, now they spawn as they look to disengage. Arts, TP out. There you go. Nice little escape. They will get this tower deny, I believe. Yep. Yep. Still working. No problem. They tried this blink now. Bit of a late blink from Simba. Not He's just been unable to get involved in the, the action because of this, the lack of good initiation, apart from Glitch, where he's not really been needed. And it's a bit late at the same time, like, compare him to the enemy hero. Yeah. And it's pretty clear it's going to have a bigger impact. Unless there's... The, the thing is they don't have a great setup for Macropire, really, so... And he hasn't actually skilled yeah. it. He's level 9, max at the Ice Path. Just playing more of that supporty type role. He will finally get close to his Yules. Yeah, look at his Yules. Macropy is a good spell. Six second cool on you just like use that to push out waves. Like I guess right now it's super not really. Four to farm stacks. Pushing. It's really nice for farming yeah. stacks. You can do that with liquid fire, but it's a little bit faster. Alright. See the Naga right, it's gonna begin now. S4 is going for the Ag Scepter, which he's completed. Nineteen and a half minutes in. Damn. That's yeah, a he's, fast egg. He's farmed. Terrorblade's even more farmed, and that's after getting ganked at the Ancients not too long ago, so... He's already got 400 gold, and his next ultimate orb can buy that point booster if he wants, or just go straight towards the Scotty. He's also very, very fat. And they're gonna get to a point when he's got Scotty, they get the blink on the tide, S4 goes back for probably the BKB next. Maybe just some other tanky item. Four staff on no town. I think at that point you start looking to starve out HR, and you want to turn this into a game where oh, Naga losing Sarasi Puppy Bottom. Dyer's will be fine. Tower into a game where like attack. even if Naga farms, she doesn't actually approach creep waves. Yeah. You know, she's just hiding her base. Yeah, I think Naga you can get a three, four, five slot Naga, but you can it could still be a completely useless Naga unless Naga is really, really pressuring the waves and split pushing effectively. The hero with Max items Dyer's isn't a big threat to see through, so. As things stand right now, they're doing pretty well here. S4 just gonna throw the Ag's ulti and start working on the T2 mid tower. The top lane. Terrorblade on the move. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And uh, Jakira probably gonna go to TP. Good movement by Arx. As soon as he sees that, he's gonna start poking his head out bottom lane. TP's not coming just yet from Secret. They don't have one on Simba. S4 also does not have one. Big Daddy does, but couldn't really defend that alone. And Puppies was on cooldown, so... He chooses his spots well, he'll get a free tower, bottom lane, and they'll, they'll snap up some smaller items here. Your Death Prophet Yule is now complete, is anything they can get their hands on. And like you said, 
I still don't count HR out, even though they're down 8-9k. Heavily favored secret, just given that they have also a very good late game lineup, but you never know, man. Yeah. We've seen Nagas work magic before. There's been much bigger deficits that have been turned around, so... And Naga Death Prophet is a very strong combo. It's, it's more just, can they survive that huge burst from a Ravage, Ice Blast, Disruptor combo, and then the Terror Blade and Razor just blasting them. Yeah. They can, they can do a lot of work. The tanks versus the, the glass cannons in some ways here. Attack. Although Terrorblades can be tanky and strong. Yeah, this, this Terrorblades is looking pretty beefy right now. He's got his Scotty in a couple hundred, so... The 22-23 minutes Scotty Manta... Preds raises similar story where there's just ridiculous farm on S4. Naga will catch up though. This Radiance flash farming is already starting to kick in, already has boots to travel, and I'd say approaching it. But now the Razor and soon will be approaching the Terrorblade, although Terrorblade does have those illusions to split farm at the same time as well. Yeah, Terrorblade will bring down towers much more quickly, so that's where HR have to be a little worried, because they can't really get their Jakiro out too far on the map. He's definitely not going to approach tier 2. And so it's just up to those puny Naga illusions who don't benefit at all from the Radiance to try and whittle away at these towers as they they look for go on mid on Afa Ninja. They have their boy grab it. There you go, right on top of it. No chance. Grab the quick grab for Seeker to They collect a big one. It's a solo ravage, but I think Afa Ninja is just like, you know, I can't really ravage anything this entire game. Let's just kill their most important hero to fight right now because Naga's not going to fight into them. They have to defend. It's going to be very tough. Oh, we can't get the ice path, unfortunately, but even without any gusher, there's still a lot of damage being dealt. So you can don't have to high ground this. They're going to get another freebie. This one on the goddamn. And at the same time, they can back off, take tier 2's top and bottom, play it safe if they want. No Ravage here. Everyone pretty damn low, but let's see if they just go for it anyway. Yeah, Team Deathfall with Aegis is happy to at least expend the Aegis here. He's it's about to expire too. It just got. It's healing him though. Oh, healing him during the sleep. Hard. Unfortunately, kind of aggravated. Oh, he's rocking a hard place there. But they go in now. Trying to balance and finish off Pearl. He's got a Sunder now. He's a bit too low to survive. Oh no, they're not going to away. Oh, Radiant's burning the tree line. He's going to Sunder from the trees. Oh. No, not going to happen. Cast animation. It's right. It's right. Learned about. Learned the hard way. The pain of trying to do anything from the trees and. Now, so too shall Karoki. He's the game of all these old school players. Hey, we'll get to TP out, so... Good hold from Hellraiser, that's all you need is that one or two hold. And sure, it's a Death Prophet buyback at this point, though. Anything to just keep your Raxes alive. Buy time for Naga to get online and just do her thing. And you need those illusions to really start tanking up if you want to be able to stop these pushes. There's uh, S4. Combo here, that's probably... Oh, Gork does have Yules. He should live through there. Yeah, he's a, he looks okay. Just a what, level 1A, but yeah, level 1A buffed. And now it gets lasted actually by the Death Prophet too, so more money going after Ninja's way after using a buyback, so that kind of makes up for it. Oh, they also got rid of the Aegis. I, Secret were just a bit over-aggressive there. They could have just backed off, chilled, reset a bit, and then they wouldn't have had Aegis, but I still think they can take Tier 2s. Yeah. They just really committed to that. Just, like, they have complete control of the Radiant and their own jungle. They've got yeah. they, they can theoretically get great vision people on the map, although right now it's Hellraisers with uh, a trio of wards around this middle lane in their jungle, but... Ancient Apparition, that's a cigar at the top. Jeez. Brutal. Sniperina. And... Yeah, I definitely think we can just back off and get their next level of items, it feels like, but... They just, I feel like they, 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 they just seem to have like the, this impression, hey, we can end it now, we may as well try and end it a little bit faster. And what are they going to go for on Secret? BKB coming for S4. Yep. Your Tidehunter probably will go Refresher next. Standard stuff there. I'm wondering what Kuroki wants. If they want to try and win the game now, might want to go for BKB. There's a lot of magic damage, yeah. and that Skyrath, which just wrecks him if he doesn't have Manta ready. Yeah, you can see from the last few fights where not having a BKB really hurts him. Also, just using that Manta, like he's using the Manta style to push, and then when they go on him, his Manta style is on cooldown. He which, could reserve it, yeah. Yeah, he may, I think the, uh, that's the alternative, is be more defensive with your Manta style, and then you could maybe go for like a Butterfly-type item instead for the actual raw pushing panel. Butterfly is really good this game for... Actually for both carries, but I would say especially for 
uh, terribly because Naga is just not a good butterfly carrier. And Terribly is more about his main hero just because of the way Metamorphosis works, so I think you can justify it a bit more there, but yeah. I, I still don't really. We're not likely to see an MKB on him. Down the bottom lane, they're gonna, are going to go that just methodical take the tier twos before we go for another high ground siege kind of approach here. That's something that's impressed me about Secret. They are generally very disciplined. Like they overextend a bit mid lane, but it's not like they did that and then they started tilting. Like, constantly overextending. They're like, okay, we overextend. Let's just calm down. Here's our next objective. Yeah, boom. Even if they had a blue game, rarely because they just like go on a full-on fallen. tilt mode or just start going way out of position repeatedly just because they get outplayed. The races, they wanted to go for a trade, maybe not happen ninja. It looked like it was heading top lane. He's going to TP back, I think, realizing that. Trick was terribly choice you for Nexus, but it's still terribly. Probably not going to end too well, and that's why TP back. There are no back. trades to be had. This yeah. is like a tiny wisp, man. So the TP back will, will secret away from the Radiant base for now, and I think that's largely just because they are not quite at their next level of item. Not to mention, even just stuff like Roshan, which is coming up in one minute. So, Aegis, BKB on the Razor, which is just going to be flying out now, and then Terrorblade, probably his BKB as well. Unless he wants to go for the Butterfly over that. And yeah. Uh, secret, they're still kind of cruising right now, it feels like. You're sure you're up against Naga Siren, but we're still not really seeing uh, a, a true Naga game just yet. Yeah, just the, just the ratty component. Big Daddy looking for a bit of a glimpse here. He's got a Static Storm set up, ready to go, but the song was off first. So Arch... Good quick reactions to secure that retreat. Yeah, the song before you get brought back means, he, hey, even if he drops that Static Storm, he's still going to get the song off. Yeah, and it's, it's actually the level 2 song. So that should secure the next rush for Seek. Unfortunately, he poked the heads in just a little bit too early here as Roche was just about to respawn. Top lane, that's a ninja, and S4 just yeah, playing a little fun game up there. S4 seems to be winning all the fun games at this point. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't blow that up. That's the thing about Razor versus Death Prophet is they, they seem somewhat similar, especially later on in the game, but Exorcism just has to be so judiciously like, Razor ult whenever you'd like. Nice bottom lane. Rest in peace. Gosh, ancient apparition ult. A recipe for death. They do have their song online. Oh no, sorry, they, they have a net, no song. Yeah. I think they're about to scout the Roshan and probably go for that. Four here, would love to force out a BKB. I don't... Arts can't really scare him that much by himself. He's waiting for this backup that's coming okay. from his death prop. He's still gonna have the BKB TP. Oh, well, he can snack. Yeah. You can't. Uh, oh, now we can. He's he uh, there. I don't know why he's scared. He was holding on to the ensnare because Radiant's of that BKB, but they also had tree coming, so maybe they figured let's snap, then we'll then we'll BKB, then we can blink overgrowth, but they should have just waited a he, few he seconds. He held longer. the ensnare for so long, like he was being so disciplined, and then suddenly then he's suddenly like, oh gotta throw it. I think I guess he figured he could kill him with the physical damage, but because of the little narrow pathway there, he couldn't actually get all the illusions attacking. Yeah, that's a good point. But, and if they wanted to wait for tree, they should have just been a little bit more patient about it. Oh, BKB is down for four. Still forced out for basically nothing, but they are going to give him a Paroche on the back of this. And I mean, we saw in the last fight, Kuroki just ending up, uh, I don't know, losing his Aegis and not having that second full life, but let's see if he's going to have one this time. Well, BKB board on the other side as well as Death Prophet flies one out, so it's a level 16 Death Prophet at the same time. Still, this net worth, the rankings looks pretty sad. The three bottom, all green heroes on the Hellraiser side, and the these found heroes. Green team, definitely stronger than red. Some sort of Christmas message, I'm not sure, but... How do you feel about the Christmas decorations in November, by the way? I... K-pop was... K-pop Tosis was getting really upset. Brian was... He wanted to start decorating? Well, no, he was really oh. upset that, like, people do it prematurely. Oh, okay. He doesn't like premature Christmas celebrations. Why? He's actually the Grinch. When are you, like, what is okay then? What is acceptable? In the world of Brian, um, after Black Friday. When's Black Friday? Uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Okay. American Thanksgiving. The only Thanksgiving. Never heard of it. <laughs> The big initiation here is the U.S. Center on the Kiro. Just gonna be pushed in and 
kind of fluff oh, got the glimpse. Back, oh, he got glimpse, and then he found BKB oh, after the glimpse. No, he might be able to outrun some of these heroes. Not sure, though. It's, Continues that okay. retreat to the south. Another glimpse coming. They're going to push Big Daddy in from long range. Still five seconds in county on this. They will have an ice path in 13. They might go to find him. Yule's using that terribly to look at but too late. Come on back. Yeah, they just need the TP for the vision and then glimpse was nice and easy. Well played. And where to next? Are they considering going down the mid lane, go for a high ground? They've still got Aegis on this Terrorblade. He's getting scarier and scarier, and they, they're going to ping him and say, look, forget those Ancients, we got real... Come on, Grogi. Let's go take some objectives here. Yep. Objective-based Dota. They're not going to bother with these, okay. this dinky tier 2 top. They just want the, the big hunting. Oh, yeah. Oh, they also want a Kuria. They come here, little robot. One right click, they need a second. Ice Blast. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's... Oh, wow. Oh, they got, got it. He might be late. He did spend his roll still. Yeah, but a Void Stone it looks like. I don't know who that was. That was this guy, uh, kind of completely the old. They find your Terror God is in the house, causing all kinds of problems for HR. As they will fight their way through this living armor as quickly as possible. Misses some of Bitcoin War Guns. Pushing quite a Bitcoin War Guns. Radiant's middle Jeez. tower has fallen. That's Sunder left for Kroki though. Hmm. The four stuffs out are real and they're just gonna settle on the T3 tower saying look let's hold on to our Aegis at least for a little bit longer, see what we can do and then uh, make another go at this mid Braxis. They could just send he could just go heal real quick and, and then come right back if they want to pass him a TP, but I guess he maybe Sunder's a, a teammate here. Makes Big Daddy take the trip so he can keep on farming. I, or just hope and pray that an enemy walked into you that you can go. You, you go have a fountain. There we go. Big Daddy. I need to farm. Good or, guy, Big Daddy. That's your, your selfless support plan. It's fine. He's a magnanimous daddy. He's big in terms of his heart. Well, nothing too much. Just farming. Yeah, Farm Dota. it's 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 Naga Dota. It, well, it's it's not quite at Naga Dota levels. We're not seeing. It's just not as crisp as a nice anti mage game, man. I'm just. Arts oh, yeah. is doing his best to creep skip and being as pesky as possible, but Secret is still being in a position where they can at least poke at a Rax or a T3 Tiles. We've seen big thing. No tell. Yeah. Feed, goddamn a freebie. Go down more than that. That is uh, not a very effective overgrowth. To the abyssal oh, the defensive zone, one. Now they're gonna song. This is a one minute cooldown song, so they, they should have it ready before the base is fully breached. But no radiant cliff, so maybe not. They are out of creeps. Yeah, A is not there, but that often works in A is but You get that bigger AOE ultimate and. CS so will pick up a ultimate orb, so. Mm. Heart? Or, uh, sorry, not heart. Um, I was looking at the manga. Uh, hex, maybe? Hex is possible. I really like the hex refresher build yeah. on Razor. But I don't. Very possible. A lot of. I think most players generally go refresher first and then back for a hex. Hmm. What else could he go for? He could go for Scotty. Yeah, I was thinking Scotty, but it's it just seems kind of underwhelming at this point. He's tanky already, so doesn't get that much benefit necessarily. Hex just like generally when you get the the egg you want to go refresher and refresher is just so good with hex. Yeah. What 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 else matches a double hex that you can get? I can't really think of any actives. I don't know. Oh, oops, we seem to be having some stream problems. We've gone offline again. What's going on? Just went offline or I don't know. I just I just looked over and saw. Oh no. The the game's working this time. Try a different server for Twitch. Yeah. Do uh do like Houston or something? Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. We're on Dallas already. Oh, try try the West Coast then, I guess. San Fran. Hello, Dota TV. We're uh, fixing some stream issues, but uh. Have a big fight momentarily. He's gonna get caught out here. Drop that indicator. Does good damage to Big Daddy. And it looks like we are back online. Sorry to everybody. Uh, the stream went down. Looks like Twitch routing issues or something of the sort. HF or Shelf is wildly capped around, but not going to accomplish too much. Naga struts in. Has that song ready to rock and roll? There is no jump around it yet. It'll be a decent time to fight the Mantra style use as Arc surges in, but now he's out of mana. Doesn't have much left in the tank. Big Daddy off the pursuit out. 
really finished the job though. I mean, these Naga illusions, oh, we managed just to deal with them and actually get out of there safely, so... More victory coming out for... But yeah, just to reiterate, guys, uh, it looks like at least in this case, we did not actually lose internet at the house. Uh, I think we might be having some routing issues to Twitch, so... Could be our internet, could be a problem at their data center. We're not sure, but it does seem to be stable, so if you hear this, leave a black screen, or... Uh, if your friends can't watch, but you can, just let them know to go ahead and refresh the stream, and hopefully everything should be fixed. For, you didn't really miss anything, I think it was only offline for a couple yeah. minutes. Just a Skyrim kill. <laughs> Otherwise, just a lot of Naga and Terrorblade farming. So this time we get lucky. We don't really miss anything too big. No. Terrorblade's got this butterfly now on top of all his uh, previous item purchases, and looks like he's ready to go. We have some animals, so let's go to the front line, we did back to the ultimate as well, so. And he did go for that, so he might pick up for him. It's just so good against Death Drop, but if you get to the future, it's like TDK Breeze. See, that card is Tink Thought. You ain't going there. And Raxus just came to work on him. There's no clue for about 30 seconds, which is unfortunate, because that could have maybe saved those Raxes, but... Double Rax and then mid goes down, and, well, Secret just happily back off, so I'll say, let's wait. Metamorph is going to be on cooldown, Razor's ultimate going to be on cooldown for a little bit. We're in no rush. Refresher also coming up soon on Tide. Yeah, Secret is slow and disciplined, and, I mean, it's, it's the pace of the game they need at this point. They once held an enormous lead, now, it's it's like in the solid lead department. 15k gold does sound like a lot this game, and it certainly is, but it's like a 30% lead, whereas before, I think they were leading by like close to like 40 to 50% at some point, so... It's still very sizable, and they're in a comfortable position, but they just want to play it safe, calm, collected, maybe secure that next Roshan, and, and then go for the GG. Yep. And I guess the big thing they're waiting on... David is just this refresher on Tide, which yeah. he's about to pick up. I've, I've, it's that a very late refresher for Simba, I gotta say. Normally he has this much earlier, but he's just spent a lot of time running around with his team. The refresher just gives him so much freedom to just throw even solo ravages even more, because the way Hellraiser are playing so defensively, he's not really finding many good ravages, because he doesn't want to just... He solo ravaged like the Death Prophet once or something, but just he can just do that very liberally if he wants to, once he has the refresher orb. Hopefully get things back underway. the way. I think the stream is now back up. Woo! Hello stream! Huzzah! I think it looks at least it looks like it. Something's you... changing and going from grey to yep. from nothing to grey. There you go. We're back in business. Alright, well let's see if Secret are still in business here. Aff and Ninja on the hunt. Got some some buddies in tow. Step Prophet is looking mighty poor man. 13k not worth it. 39 minutes. That's good. Gross out to go for the slow end. They've got Simba here with the Refresher Ultimate, so... Potential is always there for the, the, the Refresher Ravage. 15 seconds till Roshan, and... It really seems Hellraisers want to contest it. Like, they've got an okay lineup to doing so. Song of the Siren, Exorcism, and all that, but... Their, their actual map control and just... Their current status of the other heroes apart from the Naga, they're just, like, not as farmed as they really need to be. They also have a lane of Rex down and bottom lane with no Tier 2s, where Secret have Tier 2s up mid and bottom, the two lanes that are closest to the Roche Pit. So they have more margin for error in that department. They also have a buyback on the Terror Blade. Naga and Death Prophet also do, but especially the Death Prophet, very reliant on the ultimate. So you buy back on her, you only really have one effect of life, assuming you use the ult properly, and... Just worry about them being able to keep this Death Prophet alive for Aff and Ninja. Sure, you've got Song, you've got the Yule Scepter, you've got some reset tools here, but it's like at some, at some point you gotta drop down, and that's where they just destroy you. They're gonna look for it, the silence was ready for goddamn. What a great reaction. They already queued up as they attempted to escape. So many forced out escapes here, the overgrowth is completely weird. They forced out the exorcism. HR gotta do something aggressive now, because if they don't. Secret will most certainly secure Roshan and possibly even a second lane of Rax on the back of the game. So Ravage instead catches just one that takes him over and pulls the Hex now and finds some more. Got that four staff ready. You can go for a little bit deeper here. Look for Aff and Ninja. Ravage number two comes through. There is a song. The Ghost will return. The Arch is going to have to bail his buddy out here. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe he will. He's going to dump the loot and try to turn on S4 and Simba. Of course, he doesn't hit particularly hard. He's not completed his butterfly or his diffuser blade just yet. And meanwhile, oh, Marina Face, guys! That's the uh, 7 a.m. camera work in action. <laughs> 
you BTW. Could, you could probably fill the blanks, terribly hitting buildings. Yeah. I saw him go to, I saw him go for the mid racks. I'm like, there's no Raptors here. Let's watch this fight. And then, oh, by the way, base gone. Terribly yeah, done. They, that was pretty much unwinnable. That that prop was just way too poor. All right. That does it. Team Secret. After a, a kind of, I don't know about an embarrassing loss to X Game KZ, but an unexpected loss to X Game KZ, they bounce back, take a win off of Hellraisers, and, well, find themselves in a still pretty good position here in Style Ladder, Season 11 for Europe. Yeah, so, what are they sitting at now? Four and one? Or um, we have the standings from the beginning of today. In so they went one and one so seconds. far? Yeah, one and one today, so add that once it shows.